A common misconception towards Kingdom Hearts is that Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key are irrelevant to story and should simply be ignored. This is mainly because of what the games are, which is a free-to-play 2D side-scrolling browser-based game as well as an app. While the games are not as high in production value as the console versions of Kingdom Hearts, this does not mean that both Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key are unimportant. In fact, from where the story is currently going in both games, it's looking like Key and Unchained Key are amongst the most important entries into the franchise. It appears that because of what is currently happening in Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key as of right now is the result of what is going on in the main Kingdom Hearts games, especially towards Xehanort's plans, the main antagonist of the series. Today I'm joined with Unification to explain the importance of both of these games as well as their mysteries to then lead into another video which will be discussing about the mystery of Xehanort, which heavily ties into both Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key. Kingdom Hearts Key tells the story of five foretellers, who are led by an unknown master who disappeared. These five foretellers give us, the player, the task of collecting a mysterious form of light known as Lux, in order to prevent a Keyblade War. This is foretold in the Book of Prophecies given to them by their master, which states, the war in that place will lead to the defeat and the destruction of the light. The world will be enveloped in eternal darkness. The foretellers use this book of prophecies to give us medals with the power of future characters, as well as create worlds and heartless to defeat to collect Lux. Along this journey we meet many characters and encounter strange events. Kingdom Hearts Key takes place within a world known as Daybreak Town, an ancient world that used to be host to thousands of Keyblade wielders. Daybreak Town was also where the Master of Masters and the Five Foretellers resided as well. The Foretellers were powerful Keyblade Masters who led the thousands of Keyblade wielders in Daybreak Town by leading their very own unions, which were personalized by different animal symbols. These unions are Leopardus, Unicornus, Angius, Ursus, and Volpius. It is up to the player as to what union they want to join upon starting Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key. Like Uni was saying, the purpose behind the unions were to create massive groups of Keyblade wielders who would carry out the task of traveling to different worlds created by the Book of Prophecies to exterminate the darkness with the use of the player's Keyblade to collect Lux. Daybreak Town is yet to be seen within the current timeline of Kingdom Hearts. It is a world that has so far only appeared in Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key. From where the story of Key has taken us so far, it is very possible that Daybreak Town, a world that used to be populated by thousands of Keyblade wielders, was lost to the darkness from the Great Keyblade War, and eventually became the Keyblade Graveyard we see in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. This however is just speculation, it's very possible that Daybreak Town could have been sealed away similar to that of the Land of Departure. Ephemera and Skold are two Keyblade wielders who your character meets in the Key and Unchained Key, and who you have various interactions with. Eventually, Ephemera goes missing, upon which you meet Skold. It is implied that it was destined for you two to meet, as it appears Ephemera brought you two together through visions he gives to yourself and Skold. Eva, or the Volpius Foreteller, informs us that Ephemera has gone to a realm known as Unchained in order to uncover a hidden truth. Down the line, Ava then informs us that she is gathering Keyblade wielders known as Dandelions to go to another realm in order to survive the Keyblade War. We too are going to Unchained, and we are told that in this realm, Keyblade wielders are going to relive the events of Key in order to train and surpass the Keyblade War. So this gives us something to think about. Is Unchained Key in a realm separate from Key? When playing Unchained Key, are we reliving events of Key playing as the Dandelions that Ava is trying to save? By now you've probably stumbled across this cat looking creature who follows the player around. This creature is known as Cherithy, and upon starting both Key and Unchained Key, the player will be given his or her very own Cherithy to accompany the player throughout the adventure. Cherithy acts as a sort of guide for the player letting them know the purpose behind Lux, the Foretellers, the Worlds, and many different events that transpire throughout the games. The Cherithy is actually from a familiar creature family known as Dream Eaters, in which we come across during Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Dream Eaters can come in two forms, spirits and nightmares. 
Nightmares are Dream Eaters who have fallen to the darkness, and are the enemies that Sora and Riku face throughout Dream Drop Distance, and Spirits are the friendly Dream Eaters that accompany both Sora and Riku. At first, the Cherithi starts off as a Spirit-type Dream Eater, but it is possible for the Cherithi to convert into a Nightmare Dream Eater as well. Cherithis are extremely loyal to the Keyblade Wielders they serve. This means that if the Keyblade Wielder perishes, then so does the Cherithi. However, if that Keyblade Wielder's heart falls into darkness, then so does the Cherithi's heart, and it becomes a nightmare. During one of our first encounters with Skold, we end up finding a Nightmare Cherithi, which mentions that darkness possesses true strength. Along with the appearance, this is also a sign that this Cherithi in particular has fallen into darkness due to its master. As to who this Cherithi's master is, we are yet to find out. To conclude the Cherithi section, these creatures were created by the Master of Masters for the purpose of accompanying the fellow Keyblade wielders of Daybreak Town to act as a loyal guide. So what happened to the Master of Masters? He strangely disappeared along with the Six Apprentice. In the most recent update to Kingdom Hearts Key, we see that the Sixth Apprentice has finally revealed himself to be the man in the black coat and goes by the name Luxu. He informs Master Eva of his intentions. He was given the missing page from the Book of Prophecies by their master and was told to oversee the end of the world and ensure the Keyblade War occurred and to move on to the future to carry out the master's true plans. These plans are contained within the missing page. We can now assume that everything occurring in the game so far is Luxu's doing. Let's think back to the first dream sequence in the game. Now we can see that it is Luxu speaking to the Foretellers. This must have been soon before Luxu disappeared, since it seems now the Foretellers are unaware of what happened to him. So if suspicions and this new info of the Master's plans serve us correctly, it seems Luxu has been stringing along the Foretellers since the beginning. And this is more apparent thinking back to an event that occurred around when we first met Skuld. At first we see the first sign of the Foretellers turning against each other when Ursus and Anguis are seen fighting. Then, Talking Heartless appear to us who seem to be creating Lux. We find out these used to be Heelblade wielders. This seems to be the turning point of the game, where darkness seems to be sprouting in the hearts of the Keyblade wielders and even the Foretellers. Could the gathering of Lux be part of the Master's plan to start the Keyblade War? It definitely seems certain. It appears that Luxu has been motivating the Foretellers to gather Lux in order to sprout darkness in their hearts and begin the Keyblade War. However, what comes next, what lies on the missing page, is uncertain. The sixth Foreteller Luxu also has a connection to a villain I'm sure most of you are very aware of. The Keyblade in which Luxu wields is the exact same as Xehanort's. From the secret clip titled Destiny during the recoded cutscene within Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix, Young Xehanort explains that the Keyblade Xehanort wields is the most ancient. We can assume that Luxu passed the Keyblade down to Xehanort at some stage, and along with the Keyblade also came the secret ambitions of Luxu. However guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to head over to the second part of this video, where both me and Unification will be discussing upon the mysteries of Xehanort and his Keyblade. You can visit that video by simply clicking on the annotation on the screen right now, or clicking on the link in the description below. However guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.